and Dungecraft should be coming. I, I, I'm lazy. Well, that's not the only reason why. Um, I'm actually... I haven't even installed Minecraft 1.6 yet, which seems really bad, but I just got home and I just uh, have internet now, so I will probably actually try to install that tonight, and hopefully uh, some mods are updated now, and I can get Optifine and all that fun stuff, and set up stuff for Dungecraft, and I have a few ideas for Dungecraft, but for now I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure how long this first episode will be, I'll probably record for an hour or something, and hopefully... Uh, Hopefully we'll do stuff like that, but I'm, I'm just going to have this series here to talk because there's, I, I think I, I actually got this idea from Clash JTM. he's a YouTuber that I watch, he's actually my favorite YouTuber that I watch, um, I always look forward to his videos, and he, uh, hopefully I'll learn a move here, that would be nice. I learned Mud Slap, yay, I'm not sure if that actually does anything, I am, I am completely lost, uh, Pokemon get tired, take them to the Pokemon Center. Too bad. Okay, Old Ale Town. Uh, I'm just going to go in every patch of grass, walk around a little bit, and then come out. Because I don't want to necessarily... I don't want to skip over and run things when I could be doing valuable training. And that's why this series will be good for talking, because I'll be doing a lot of training. Not necessarily grinding for experience or anything like that, but I will be doing a lot of training and trying to get it so my Pokemon are up to level when we battle the uh, gym trainers because that's something that I usually like to do so I have all my Pokemon leveled the way that I want before we battle the gym so we can basically take out the gym in uh, one try well I'll go back to the Pokemon Center before the gym leader but obviously but um, I haven't played Pokemon Emerald like I said oh wow <laughs> that didn't take long at all okay let's see what this guy wants Work at the Pokemon Mart. Can I get you to come with me? Sure. I think he's gonna give me like a free potion or something. Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. Okay, yeah, he gives me a potion for free uh, as a sample. Potion can be used anytime, so it's even more useful than a Pokemon Center in certain situations. Uh, except that it costs money. That that is <laughs> that's kind of the downfall of it. Um, when Pokemon battle, they eventually level up and become stronger. Oh, I didn't want to read that again. Let's see what this guy has to say. I don't want to miss anything because you'll be able to go farther away from here. Uh, a lot of times people say important stuff, uh, like certain things. I, I really need to get some freaking shoes, running shoes anyway. The one thing about this game that I don't like is that you can't save in the middle of the Pokemon Center. You, you're you always off to the side, or it's not even, like, it's, it's just annoying. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center, we restore your tiled Pokemon. Uh, usually I'm not going to talk to people in the Pokemon Centers though, because they do not give you any useful information, they'll just uh, say silly things. Like, I'll talk to that old guy and he'll probably say nothing of importance. Even though this is the beginning of the game, I already know how to play Pokemon, so it's not like a PC in the corner is for any Pokemon trainer. See, naturally I'm used to using it. I'll, I'll talk to this guy, but this is probably going to be the only time. Wireless Club. Wireless Club? Huh? Wireless? I thought wireless didn't come out until 4th uh, gen, but whatever. You can use their services as much as you like, and it's all for free. Ooh. You never have to worry. Okay, I'm trying to think. This isn't the game that, uh... Maybe it is. I don't know. No, never mind. I was thinking of, uh, what was it? Fire Red or something. You have to do the bonus missions. I'll talk to this person, see if they have anything important to say. I want to take a rest, so I'm saving my progress. Oh. <laughs> Saving your progress. It's like a game within a game here. Oh, this this guy. Just discovered the footprints of a rare Pokemon. Dang it. Uh, it's not like the footprints would go just like that. Let's see what uh, this woman's about. Yeah, I really shouldn't talk to people in the beginning because I already know what to do here. Actually, I don't. I have no clue where I'm going right now. Uh, potion can be used anytime, so it's even more than I used for my Pokemon Center. Okay. It's probably something north of here. Okay, Route 103. This is supposed to be where May is, I think. That's where I'm going, so... Is this guy gonna want to battle me, or no? Should've brought a potion. I can loan you one if you want. I really... I don't usually use potions. Oh, okay, there's May. So let's see what she wants. Is she gonna want to battle? She probably is, so... 
Yeah, I'd give you Pokemon. Wait a second, I just realized that Trico is going to be super, super effective. Crap! Okay, whatever. It's it's no big deal. Um, but Mudkip is ground type, or is going to be ground type eventually someday. I love that the, the colors match the game. It's pretty nice. Uh, because we have emerald colored stuff. Whoa, Trico, you got some weird looks going on here. He's like... I don't know what he's doing. Doing a jumping jack or something? Okay. Okay, see, that's ground type. So Mudkip's going to be ground type eventually. But that's going to suck when, um, Trico has, um, some good grass moves. I'm level 6, so I should have no problem beating, uh, beating Trico. But it's, or beating May for that matter. I'm not going to say beating Trico because it's going to make it sound like I'm beating up a Pokemon. And that is not true. Pokemon is a game of battling and things like that. It's not necessarily beating up. Well, it, it seems like it. I'm pretty sure there actually is a move called beat up, but it's it's not like that because I remember when PETA made that Pokemon parody game and everyone got really ticked. So I don't want to make it sound like I'm a, I'm a, I'm PETA right now, but really, uh, no big deal. <laughs> wow, it's great. You're pretty good. Yeah, I am. So, so I was going to say something, but that's not very nice. I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, but it already likes you. Really? You might be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time to get back to the lab. Have fun! I think I really want those running shoes for my mom, and I... I'm going to see... Oh, wait. I just realized I didn't have to walk through that, but I did. So, oh well. The guy's hair in this is pretty cool, too. It's kind of random, though. I mean, like, what kind of... What is it? Ten-year-old kid has white hair? Unless it's a hat. Wait. Over here. Let's hurry home. Okay. I think she's being a little creepy right now. She's telling me to come to her house, and, uh... I kind of don't want to. Just saying. She's kind of creepy. Okay. Wait. Back to the house? I thought she said she was going to the lab, but, you know, whatever. I'll, I'll go upstairs into her room. I'm sure her parents won't mind that. I know my parents would... Oh, wait. Never mind. Apparently, she is at the lab. Okay. Anyway, I kind of missed that memo. I feel like the lab was on the other side in the other games. Actually, I, that was probably just in Pokemon. Um, Hi, Landon. I heard you beat May on your first try. That's excellent. May's been helping with my research. May has an extensive history as a trainer already. I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. Yay, Pokedex! Okay, I like Pokedexes. They're pretty cool. Makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid May goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon and rec records its data in the Pokedex, May looks for me while I'm out doing field work and she shows me. Oh, well, Landon, you got a Pokedex too. That's great, just like me. I've got something for you too. She gave me balls! Pokeballs, that is. Uh huh. Is fun if you get a lot of Pokemon. I'm going to look all over the place to find different Pokemon. If I find any cute Pokemon, I'll catch them. Yeah, that's, uh, that's wonderful. I'm pretty sure you don't have, or you're not going to catch as many Pokemon as you say you are. You're just going to catch, like, six, just like I'm probably going to do. Actually, I could catch Pokemon just to, oh, wait, Landon. Oh, she's going to give me the running shoes. You introduce yourself to Professor Bur Birch. I said Birch. Uh, you're your father's child, all right. Really, I thought I was my father's stepchild. I don't know. Here, honey, if you're going on an adventure, wear those running shoes. You put a zip in your step. Yeah! So now I can suddenly run. It's it's not it's not my job to run. It's the shoe's job to run. Slip on the running shoes and race in the great outdoors. Dot, 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 dot. I think that you have your very own Pokemon now. Your father may be overjoyed, but please be careful. If anything happens, you can come home. I'm probably not going to. I'm never going to see you again, you cold-hearted son of a goose. I'm just not going to. I'm running! Uh... So fast! I'm running. Oh, dang it. From what I've heard in the new games, anyway, it says, like, when you run, then Pokemon meet you faster. I don't know if that's actually true, because I don't look into Pokemon technicals all that much, but... Hopefully I can be at least level 10 by the time we get to the gym. I'm not sure who's the first gym, actually. I kind of forgot. Maybe Petalburg, but I don't know. 
Because I know Norman, I don't face him first, which is weird because he's the normal type. And he's my dad and things like that. You have to like eventually battle. Okay, wait, I'm gonna heal up here. Oh, wait, I'm probably going left to now because that guy uh, is probably done. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We That guy's probably done um, recording those footsteps, I'm assuming anyway. I'm not sure if I want to keep going north. This game is kind of confusing, but I don't really know. I'm pretty sure that old man, like in that one city, will be looking for a bird named Pico or something like that. I don't know. Uh, so that guy's done. I'll see what he has to say now. I finished sketching the footprints of a rare Pokemon. Turns out they're only... Oh, of course! Of course they were! He probably thought it was like a Mewtwo or something. As if he... <sighs> there were his own footprints. Okay. Oh, there's Pico. Just kidding, it's just a Wingull. I'm Wingull, I mean, not Wingull. I'm actually probably not going to catch a Wingull because I caught one last time, but I am going to need to catch some kind of flying Pokemon. I might just do that for Rayquaza. I don't know, not very effective. Even though I will be a mud or a ground type eventually, so water types will be normally effective against me, which kind of stinks, but at least I will be immune to electric types, which is going to be the best part. Um, even though I don't think there were that many electric types in this uh, generation anyway. Jeez, come on, just give me a break. Actually, I do want to battle things, so this is probably a good idea. Level 4 Zigzagoon. I'm not going to catch one because normal types, I just don't like them. I just don't like them. On the other hand, uh, fairy types will be introduced in Generation 6, and uh, that's going to be cool because normal types, or not, not, not all normal types are going to be switched over, but... Things like Jigglypuff and Clefairy will probably be switched over. Clefairy's most likely, if they haven't announced it already, I'm assuming Clefairy the fairy is going to be a fairy type. That just, I've said fairy more times than I've ever wanted to. Oh, never mind, there's nothing up here. Okay, I'll beat this Wingle and then I'll be uh, done with that section. But yeah, as I said last time I played Ruby, I caught Wingle, so I'm hoping to just completely make it different this time. Uh, catch like none of the same Pokemon that I would have before. I'll probably want a Psychic and or a Dark type. Uh, Rayquaza I think is the main one in this game. See the thing that's going to be interesting about playing Emerald is that uh, the storyline has been different and I never actually got to find out what the storyline was like because I know in Ruby and Sapphire I'm pretty sure Ruby Team Magma is the bad team. I think I already started to say this but I then I like blanked out or something. I always seem to do that when I'm talking, uh, does this person want to battle me? I'm going to catch a whole bunch of Pokemon. No, you aren't. Okay, yeah, they're no- okay. Okay, first real trainer battle. Uh, what was I saying? And in Pokemon Sapphire, Team Aqua is the bad team, and they want to, like, expand the water with, uh, Kyogre or whatever. But I don't know what it's like in this game. Maybe both of them are bad? I think that's what I heard. Instead of one being good and against the other, I think they're both against the other and they're both bad. And one of them wants to expand the land and one of them wants to expand the sea. I really don't know yet because I haven't played this game. And from what I've heard, the Battle Frontier is also in this game, so that's going to make a good after story for us to play. And that's going to be fun. Like, uh, I may sound like I have a cold, when I did my test recordings, it seemed like that too. It's just because I'm back in Maine now, and the weather's a little different, it's getting a little muggy, so that's why I'll get used to it, and I'll be able to talk better, but hopefully I'll um, be able to start upload some stuff. I get lost! I should have trained mine more. Yeah, you should have. Actually, you should- wait, was that Youngster Joey? I think he was the one with the top percentage of Rattata in, um, <laughs> in Generation 2. Our eyes met. Oh yeah, yeah, that's why. I always see jokes on the internet about that. It's like when the Pokemon trainer's eyes meet. Um, that's when the battle begins. That's why Brock never has to battle anyone because his eyes never meet anyone. <laughs> I've, I've seen, I see stuff on that on like Pokemon memes all the time. And uh, like I said, I have my Pokedex app that I'm also going to use. And that's going to be fun because I can locate where an Incata is. And I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, it evolves at like level 20, but then it evolves into Shedinja and, uh... I, I always... <laughs> I forget what the other one is. Shedinja is like the Shed when it evolves. So that's why, um... If you have like an extra Pokeball in your inventory in an open slot, 
then you suddenly get shed in jail. I don't know, but it normally evolves into um Ninkata evolves into I'm I'm forgetting right now. I don't know why. Did my attack miss? Like what the heck? What happened there? I'm gonna check my Pokedex app real quick while I'm fighting, cause there's not much I can say about that, so I'm gonna look up Ninkata really quick. Wait, am I still not Okay, I thought it still wasn't using tackle. I was like, are you kidding me? Ninkata. Okay. I'll look it up right now just because I'm really curious. Ninkata evolves into Ninjask. There we go. At level 20. And if you have an open slot, it also evolves into Shedinja, which is very strange. And I'm probably not going to train the Ninjask, but I will train the Shedinja. Ninjask has some nice attack stats, I think. If I remember correctly, I'll check. Uh... No, never mind. It has really good speed stats, that's it. It's really, really fast, but the rest of its stats kind of suck, so I'm probably just going to train the Shed Ninja. Even though I ch should train them side by side, that would be cool, but if I have one bug Pokemon that's impervious, why train another one? I'm probably just going to keep them in the PC, but I will have an more Pokemon than May anyway. Okay, did you just become a trainer? We're both, we're both beginners. See, I never understand that, how where all these other trainers live and how they get their first Pokemon. Like, when I did it, I had to get it by chance. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, there should be lots of houses everywhere and things like that where uh, moms and dads have extra Pokeballs and just, like, storage shelves and things like that. I just don't understand like why other houses don't have bedrooms and things like that like that would make the game a little more of a game maybe they'll do that in the next generation with the whole 3d thing I think it's going to be cool but uh I am planning on getting Pokemon X and Y by the way not both but either one I'm probably going to get Pokemon Y because Pokemon X looks like the uh, more girly one which makes sense considering uh, girls are XX and uh, guys are XY <coughs> That would make sense why the Y Pokemon would be the more guyish, cool looking one. Anyway, I am going to keep going, maybe to the next town, maybe to the first gym, I don't know. Whenever I feel like uh, stop recording. Ooh, a Talo. I might want to raise. Uh, I don't know about that actually. I'll use. Oh crap. Mud Slap won't do anything. Of course, the one time I decide to use a ground type, it's against a flying type. My luck, just my luck. Hopefully, Tackle will kill a cry. Ugh. Hit the button too fast. Oh, this Pokemon's probably gonna kill me. I'll use Water Gun. I didn't.